How you doing guys and gals? This is Doug Wilson from Yellow Hawk Customs Outdoors. Got a special treat for you guys. I finally got back from LT Wright the prototype, the working prototype for the Delta Whiskey Infinity. And here's the sheath system I built for it. If you guys stay tuned, we're going to talk about these two and how you might acquire one. Stand by. Okay, so we're going to go over the specs of the knife real quick. A2 tool steel. Rockwell between 58 and 59, which is perfect. Uh, they're all done by Peter's Heat Treat, so they're all going to be consistent. It's got a traditional Scandi grind with a convex micro bevel. Now that's right out of the box. That's how you're going to get it. A traditional Scandi edge with a strong edge because of that micro bevel. Thing's sharp. <laughs> So basically a Scandi grind is a flat grind all the way into a Scandinavian grind. See that? 90 degree spine right here. It's rounded for the choke up. So you get extreme comfort with this, with this knife. Now, my primary concern above the geometry of the knife was comfort. My knives have to be comfortable in all hand positions. And this knife you can chop with, so that, you know, that was, uh, that was another challenge I had to overcome in the design process. So you got a choke up choil that's camphored. Okay, most, most choke up choils are not camphored. They irritate, this one does not. Coke bottle handle. LT Wright's famous Coke bottle handle, a little oversized, so you get tremendous purchase that fills up the hand. I have put thumb scallops in this prototype, as well as a bow drill divot, which will be in the production models as well. Fisheye pin and tube hardware, very strong. Uh, green micarta scales with coyote, uh, coyote brown liners, a button pommel on the end that's, that sticks out just far enough to crush nuts, uh, process tinder, wax somebody in the brain, whatever, <laughs> right? It's, this is my take on the perfect bushcraft style knife. And in my opinion, a bushcraft style knife should also be able to skin as well. So you can. With that continuous belly, the way it is, you can not only skin with it, but it might be used for self-defense as well. I got a reverse tanto tip, which is very strong for thrusting and jabbing. If you need to you know, defend yourself with this knife, it's up to the task. It's got a thumb ramp here, right? So the thumb ramp rests there for push cuts on the normal grip if you want. When you choke up, that thumb ramp follows the contour of the, of the joint there and allows you full contact with the spine at all times for stronger push cuts. You can actually feel that grip stronger as you're doing a, a thumb push cut. If you don't want to do a thumb push cut, you don't have to. It's comfortable in this position as well. Five and a quarter inch cutting surface. Five and three quarter inch blade. All the way to the hilt here. There she is. The Delta Whiskey Infinity. There it is in the hand. Choke up, reverse grip, All right? Very strong knife, 530 seconds. That's the thickness of the steel, 530 seconds. I don't, I don't like knives that are really thick. It's just not my thing, right? I believe you can get a finer 
edge and a lighter knife with a thinner steel. Okay, and to be just as strong. This is an outwardly strong, comfortable knife. Contoured well, like I said, fills up the hand completely. And it's very comfortable in the choke up. Very comfortable. More comfortable than most other knives I've felt. I mean, that's primary concern there, comfort. Delta Whiskey Infinity. It will have the Yellow Hawk logo right here, as well as the Pout House symbol here. Okay, the sheath. This is the sheath system I built for myself for this knife. It will be available if you want it. I designed this knife to take Kydex over leather. This is a Kydexable, very Kydexable knife. So I, I kept that in mind when I was designing it. The sheath system. All right, real quick. Here we go. Tabby Dangler. If you want tooling, it's going to be a little extra. I got my initials in this one. It's got the Yellow Hawk logo. Here's the Tree of Life here. And the Yellow Hawk logo on the back. 9 to 10 ounce Herman Oak leather, which I oil and wax for weatherproofness. Stainless steel posts in this. Tabby Dangler with a shore up plate, really strong. Thumb ramp that actually works. And this is how the thumb ramp works on my on my uh, systems. You put your you put your uh, thumb on the thumb ramp, four fingers on the handle, you push and pull. Push on your thumb, pull with your fingers. That's how it's designed to work. So, you can get a one-hand draw with this thing, okay? One-handed draw. There's that yellow hawk click. You want to hear it again? What was that? I, I didn't hear you. Hear the click. There you go. Ready? Oh, look at that. No wiggle, no rattle, no rhythm, no roll, right? Face mount ferro rod, a sun toe compass on the front. Diamond sharpener. Now I tell you, in the field, I sure and I tell you, I sat here today and sharpened this knife with just a fine diamond rod and a strop. That's it. It's all I need in the field, and I get them hair popping sharp. If you need help with that, PM me. I'll give you some tips. So diamond rod sharpener on the side. Live fire on the back. Now, uh, here. I usually use the uh, uh, the ferro rod scraper, but I lost it to, to push the uh, live fire out of its holder. Okay, here's live fire. Now, I, I like live fire on a sheath for this reason and this reason only. It's sure fire in most weather conditions. As long as you have fuel to burn, this is going to help you out. Okay? And see if I can get it open. That's what it looks like inside. You fluff it up, you take a piece out, you pull it apart, whatever. Light it with your ferro rod, which is already, hey, look, already on the sheath, right? So basically the sheath leaves up, uh, takes up where the knife leaves off. That's why I call it a knife and sheath system. This is a knife and sheath system. The knife does what it does and then the sheath picks up where the knife leaves off. So this sheath can allow you to do much more in the field than your knife can do alone or your knife can do for you alone. There it is. This is that Raptor Kydex. Raptor. It's got like a, a leatherish looking finish. I have it in London tan, which is this. Dark brown and black. You want to hear it again? Oh, jeez. There it is. There's the system. 
If you're interested in something like this, they'll be available in a couple of months. I don't know how many I'm going to be having uh, have made yet. That's all in the works now. This knife will chop as well. It's just heavy enough that it will chop if you need it to. Um, versus, you know, uh, a smaller knife, a 9 ounce or an 8 ounce knife that can't chop. It just, uh, just doesn't have the weight behind it. This one does. While not being overly heavy. It weighs about 13 ounces. Which is pretty good for an EDC that can do all that. Skin, chop, slice, cut, disembowel. <laughs> right. All right. There it is. There's the formal look at the Delta Whiskey Infinity. And uh, I'll let you guys know when it's available. Thanks for watching. This is Doug Wilson from Yellow Hawk Customs Outdoors. I'll see you on the next one.